<laughs> normally I wouldn't care anymore. Um, normally I wouldn't. I would just, you know, write this off as stupid people being stupid. But I, I just can't take it anymore because I still hear some of the same, same, same stupid arguments. Um, I hear the same complaints then about other series, um, despite what's going on in this one. And um, I see people who frankly don't get their own series. So let me break it down for you. What's been happening in these last several Naruto chapters, other than being complete and utter storytelling bullcrap, um, it's just, oh god, it's all over the place. There are holes being ripped open left and right. You could literally drive a truck through this. It's like, it, I swear to god, Kishimoto is now trying to prove that he can be a worse writer than Kubo. It, it's true. He is trying to screw up now. There, there, there's no other explanation. That or he really is just that inept. <sighs> I mean, th this guy is possibly one of the biggest hacks out there, certainly one of the most overrated, and it, it drives me freaking insane how people can sit there talking about him like he's some sort of great writer, or how his story is some great masterpiece, or a work of art, or something like It's Oh my god, it makes me sick, it really does. But what's been going on lately? <laughs> oh god. Okay, you know what? I'm going to say it right now. The man has gotten everything that he has gotten. Everything in that story that is remotely good, he has copied from someone else. Everything else, complete and utter dung. And even the stuff he rips off, he doesn't even do it the same way as the person he stole it from. And it's not, not even as good. It's passable, sure, but not as good. It's all just freaking ridiculous. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shadow clones shadow clones shadow clones are now shadow soldiers apparently because they can go out and fight and do their own thing on their own under their own power and cast their own jutsus and kill people yeah now see here's the stupid thing too I've argued this with people and I've argued my point with people and you know what their response to me is that I, that I don't know when you started watching this series, but you clearly have no clue how Shadow Clones work. I don't have a clue how Shadow Clones work, really. Because they kind of set that up very early on. It was... The technique itself was supposed to be a sign of how good you are or how much potential you have. It's a freaking secret technique. Uh, and, well, it's the Shadow Clone. You know, you, you channel your chakra, you make another copy of yourself, one that's capable of actual physical interaction. However, once it get, takes damage, it goes poof. Um, they are primarily used for melee combat, because they, uh, ambush melee combat, because they can get a drop on an enemy. You distract them, they come up behind them, bam, hit them in the back of the head, hit them in the back, hit them in the leg, do whatever. You know, um, or as a result of that, weapons combat, ranged combat, they could throw things. Uh, and um, also for scouting, it's very beneficial. But what he's doing now is freaking putting them in a transformed state like him and giving them a freaking shield so that they can take blows and give them back. You know what that is, this whole thing? It's some deus ex machina BS of a way for Kishimoto to say, Hey, I know, I want Naruto to be the main focus now, but it's going to look kind of ridiculous, and I'm not going to be able to explain it too well if I have it so that he can be in many places at once. And, you know, the clones, the clones aren't really that great. So I know, I'll just change how they work. It's how he does it. It's how he does things. And this is his way for Naruto to be able to show up here, 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 and here, almost instantaneously without freaking transforming. And the funny thing is, the, I, I'm standing by this. Naruto was really, frankly, never needed on that battlefield to begin with. It's kind of funny how it's not until Naruto decides I'm going to go there anyway, which, again, was what Madara needed him to do. But it's funny how it's not until after he decides this that suddenly some of them start struggling and maybe need some help. Uh, yet, I've also seen him intervene in, intervene in fights that, frankly, they really didn't need his help. He just shows up and saves the day anyway. I'm not going to get into how that can be so freaking offensive for somebody. 
but uh, you know, it's just no. Here's the thing, okay? Shadow clones. Here's how they work. You channel, you channel your chakra. They go freaking, you know, they, they, they're created, they're used. When they're not needed, you can dispel them. Or if they're injured, in a way, they dispel themselves. Really freaking simple. Not too complicated. Um, the only reason, though, that it took uh, someone with a great deal of experience to be able to use a Shadow Clone is because, well, it took a ton of chakra and it took a ton of concentration to be able to do it. Uh, Naruto had a benefit, though, because he was unable to make a normal clone simply because of the fact that, well, he had too much chakra, and when he tried to flow it too much would flow, he didn't have very good control of his chakra yet. Yeah, I get it, and he's got more now, so he probably could make a normal clone, he probably could, I don't know, you know, I don't know. But, see, here's where things get dicey. He's specifically told that if he tries to make a clone in his, in his higher state, he will die. Um... I got a problem with that. You see, he's making them. And the excuse I hear, the argument I hear is because, oh, well, they thought that he wasn't going to have enough chakra, and that's the only problem. It's like, okay, well, here's where we run into, again, two storytelling problems. Either these people who have seen Naruto pull all this stuff, who have seen him capable of doing all these things, are mentally retarded and don't seem to get the concept that the kid has a pretty damn big chakra pool, especially since he just got the freaking QB chakra at will. Um, or, <laughs> or um, well, it's a gaping plot hole. Because Naruto is, uh, especially seeing as, well, let's see here. The reason they said that if you do it, you could die is this. Um, not only is he making shadow clones, but super shadow clones, apparently. It's the amount of chakra needed and the amount of chakra that he has flowing through him right now. This is a new form. It's, you know, a huge chakra pool. And to sit there making clones of it. See, the, when you boil right down to it, though, Naruto is still mortal. Naruto still has chakra pathways like a human. Naruto now has the chakra path, uh, the chakra of a demon flowing through the chakra pathways of a human. That is dangerous. Very dangerous. Um, it, 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 the, the reason that it could kill him, to, to be quite frank, is it could burn him out. Um, fry him, basically. Fry his chakra pathways, kill him. It, it, the best way I could think to describe it is an electric circuit, okay? Um, you got, uh, okay, you, you try running power through a circuit, okay? Now, what's going to make the thing burn up and explode or, or die, as it were, isn't a lack of power. All that's going to do is just mean it sits there without power. No, what burns it up and destroys it is too much power. It gets too much power flowing through it, too much energy, and it goes kaboom. Too much power, too much energy, kaboom, there you go. That, that is what kills the circuit, and the same holds true for Naruto, for people in general. We are, in fact, conduits for uh, many kinds of different uh, types of energy. And just like anything else, when you flow through too much through there, it dies. Now, in our case, yes, we could die from a lack of it, too, because we are not inanimate objects. But <clears throat> we're also in severe danger of dying by trying to flow through too much through it, by trying to <coughs> do too much. And then on top of it, these clones that he creates, they now have their own chakra pathways, their own chakra pools, their own ability to cast their own jutsus at will, and their own ability to take hits... Naruto has I, has apparently, literally, gained the ability to create a completely new living being. Which is, in fact, complete and other bullcrap. Now, I'm sorry, if you think that this is good writing, if you think this was somehow cool uh, to see the Raikage that supposedly defeated over a thousand ninja over a period of fighting nonstop three days and three nights get killed by the clone of a, fi of a what, 15, 16-year-old dumbass kid... Uh, oh my god, I'm sorry, there's just something wrong there. That is 
not good storytelling. That is overpowered like freaking nuts. And like I said, I've said it a hundred times now. You guys just lost your right to complain. If you're even going to try to whine about Goku again or Dragon Ball again or, uh, frankly, any series again being overpowered despite how they bust their butts. Frankly, <laughs> heck, I'm going to say it, they bust their ass to get where they are. They work and train like freaking crazy. They push their bodies to the point where normal people would be freaking dead in order to get stronger. And yet, you're going to declare them overpowered. Okay. After seeing this, any, any, anyone tries to make that claim and yet say Naruto is better because it's not. Or hell, Naruto is better at all. If, if you're, if, oh, I'm sorry, if you're a freaking Naruto and you complain about that, your entire opinion just became invalid to me. I normally don't do that. I normally just welcome input, but this, this officially pushed my buttons. I haven't been this angry over a plot point since, uh, frankly, I haven't been this angry over a plot point in Naruto since Naruto, almost getting stabbed by uh, Sasuke, decides that this is clearly the proof that Sasuke wants him to keep following him and try to save. Okay, this is just utterly ridiculous. This is so much bullcrap. Really. And you know, you basically, you know what my opinion of it is? Frankly, guy ran out of stuff to steal from his brother's series, and so he has to stand on his own now, and now he's faltering. That's about the opinion I have of Masashi Kishimoto as a writer. My God. Say she writes and draws and storytells circles around his freaking douchebag of a brother, who then turns around and steals his stuff, gets famous off it, and then ha tries to tell his fans... Oh, don't say my brother copied me. Be nice to it when he's the one who stole. And I'm sorry, there's just way, way too much in common for people to try to use the, oh, well, they're twins, so of course they're going to have some of the same inspirations excuse. No. No, I buy that with the art styles. Heck yeah, I do. That's easy. People who are influenced by the same artist often have similar art styles. Not so much the case with stories. No. Not stories. Not characters. Not... No. Way too much in common. And I'm watching this hack take stuff from his brother, do a half-assed job with it, just throw it out there, make millions, while his brother gets accused of clearly having stolen from the man who stole from him. And, I mean, you don't believe me. Look at freaking Amaterasu. Um, it's in uh, Seishi series first. Uh, the freaking organization going around trying to collect the demons uh, that are sealed within these people in order to use them <laughs> as a means of a weapon. Um, yep. Showed up there first. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, ah, yes, the organization within the government that's secretly aspiring to use these things as a weapon, too. Uh, yeah, they're first. Um, there's a lot of stuff that happened in, uh, Oparts Hunter first that later happens in Naruto. It's really a topic for another day. Um, Lord, the list goes on and on. If I had to sit down and actually try to write a list, it would take a little while, but, yeah. It's all there, <laughs> it's enough to piss a person off. I'm sorry, but it is. And again, the, and then I get the same old BS logic. That, um... <laughs> <sighs> that freaking Naruto came out first, therefore he couldn't possibly have stolen anything from his brother. Um, the time at which a series came out has absolutely nothing to do with whether or not it steals from another series. Uh, point in fact, um, 
what matters is the order in which it appeared in which series. If this event appeared here first, I don't care if their series came out three years, or even ten years after this one. If they do something, and then this series, a little while later, uses the exact same idea, it ripped it off, didn't it? Yeah, that's how that works. But anyways, yeah, the, the, uh, so I have to deal with anger from that. And then have to deal with anger from freaking fanboys who are actually trying to defend this. Claiming that, no, he did not create an entirely separate being. It's just that his strength was evenly distributed. Evenly distributed, people, does not mean, hey, copy two and three, you get the exact same level of strength I have at my max. No, that's not how it works at all, guys. Not how it works at all. And, I mean, <laughs> evenly distributed. And here's another example I used. T uh, go into Dragon Ball Z. Tien. Tien has the mystical third eye. The third eye allows him to perform the multiform technique, wherein he can split himself into multiple copies. There, his strength is evenly distributed among the number of copies. For example, if he makes two, if he makes uh, one copy, there's two of them. Half his strength is in this one, half is in that one. If he makes four, one if there's four of them, one quarter of his strength in each. That is even distribution. Five, one-fifth. You see how that works. Which is why he sticks to smaller numbers, because it divides his strength even more, and it also minimizes the effectiveness of attacking whichever his target is. Usually there's only one or two, um, that he, there usually there's only one he fights at a time. So, you know, and seeing as he was studying to be an assassin, it actually makes very good sense. When there's two of them, and have, even if it is only at half strength, it maximizes the likelihood that his strikes will connect. And all he needs to do is we is wear them down enough, connect enough to the point where he can refor refuse together and blow the hell out of them. It's really that simple. That's even distribution. That's well thought out. That's some good writing. This crap, where all of a sudden my shadow clone, who before if I just went like boom, would go poof, can now freaking pull off all this crap, launch jutsus. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, because, you know, all Shadow Clones have their own chakra path. It's not like they have to let you funnel it through. See, that's just it. Naruto, they've done jutsus before, so to speak. They've helped Naruto with them, but it's because he's the one funneling the chakra in there. And then all of a sudden, as of late, they can just do it. Just because they can. That's the beautiful thing about this series. Just because they can. Orochimaru can still be inside. Orochimaru's spirit can still be inside Kabuto, talking to him, despite being sealed by Susanoo's sword, because he can. I actually had that fed to me the other day. I'm getting really sick of this. I'm getting really sick of this series, and I'm getting really sick of the fans of this series. I am. And that's all I need to say.